was that stuff. Guys, what made you think that pineapple was one of the primary ingredients? You saw the jar with not a full stack of pineapple rings. Wow. The camera shoots some biblical quality. The cake is incredibly nice. It almost feels like a steamed pudding. It really is a beautiful cake, Thank you. Patty and T, if the Mr. Dessert is a pineapple upside down cake, then you could avoid being lemonade. Thank you. Tarsha and Christy. Ow. We decided to make a upside down blood orange cake. Mom, any help here? We saw blood oranges next to the cutting board, and I saw some in the compost. Okay, dump it. The piece on the outside here is just so delicious. I tell you what, guys, if the mystery dessert is a blood orange upside down cake, you are looking real good. We have made a blood orange upside down cake garnished with blackberries. Blackberries? What? What clothes in the crime scene kitchen led you to make this dessert? We saw the blood orange and we did look in the fridge and we thought that the blackberries might have been used. There is a problem with the consistency. I hope for their sake that is the problem. Yeah, it doesn't look done. Mine is raw in the center. I don't think I ever did. I'm devastated. I did not want that cake to be raw. You guys opened and closed the oven quite a few times. You got to have to bake a cake. Take a deep breath. Make a little prayer because you have to really hope that this is very, very close to the mystery dessert. We don't want to go home. Our first raw cake we baked on national TV. <laughs> Michelle and Tori. Hi, guys. Hi. We have a citrus upside down cake with blood orange and lemon. And lemon. Why blood orange and lemon? Tori thinks that he saw lemon in the garbage but did not see it. That was a lot. If he's wrong, will you hold it against him throughout your marriage? I mean, the lemon's very pleasant. It really is. It brings a brightness. The crown of the cake is beautiful. And I also love the yellow color of it. Davion and Donovan. We definitely saw a Ooh. lot of buttercream. Oh. So we created a buttercream that we just iced the top of our cake with. It's wax. Yeah. Gentlemen, what have you made us? Our version of a pineapple, blood orange, orange, upside down cake. You can't do an upside down cake in this frosting. Guys, I look at this and I don't see an upside down right. pineapple cake. <laughs> they don't see the caramelized layer. And of course, I don't see the fruit. Yeah. If I close my eyes, I think I'm eating a hummingbird cake, which I really like, by the way. Mm -hmm. You're actually the only team that hasn't made an upside down cake. And the only team that did the pine with salt in practice, they won. What specific clues in the crime scene kitchen led you towards making a butter? Well, there was butter in the kitchen. I hope we're right. This has to be the cake that's closer than anybody else's. Yeah, or we could really be going home, bro. The elimination bake is over, and the tasting is done. We have sacrificed so much to be here. We don't want a raw cake sent in us home. Reveal the mystery dessert. I'm praying right now that I'm not going home. Okay, second year. Teams gave us four different takes on an upside down cake, and Davion and Donovan baked a pineapple cake with American buttercream. Whatever it is that comes out of here, I'm hoping that there's buttercream on there. Confectionator 3000, 
Reveal the mystery desserts. My heart is going to be so fast. An upside down cake topped with caramel oranges and blood oranges. <laughs> Thank you, God. You just pulled that one out, I swear. It was out. So we were very. Oh, we are one of the only two teams who <laughs> did not make a different upside down cake, so we all do it. Ah. A blood orange orange upside down cake. Me. Curtis, walk us through the clues that should have led the bakers to this. Here's how they should have gotten that answer. Though many fruits were present, there were no signs that the pineapples were used. Well, that jar of pineapples will haunt me till the day I die. 100. The remnants of blood orange in the compost and navel oranges in the trash, along with the stains on the cutting board, told you only blood oranges and navel oranges were included. The cake tin in the sink had remnants of caramel in the bottom, a clue that today's dessert was inverted after baking, leading to an upside down cake. Okay, guy, who fell short tonight? On balance, the team that performed the worst in this elimination bank and who's going home tonight is... Davian and Donovan. I'm sorry, guys. And what you baked was actually... Bones! But unfortunately, you were just nowhere near the mystery dessert. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the clues. I think that we got the clues a little too wrong. Yeah, Mommy, you're everything to me. Thank you for being here. I think it's burning. Thank you so much, guys. A big round of applause for Donovan and Dave. These tears are not tears of sadness. I'm just happy right now that I got to do this for my bro. Oh. This was the most bonding experience I've ever had. Mmm. 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 Oh. I'm going to need it no. That's what I was watching there. That's what I was watching yeah. yesterday. And there were no witnesses and very few leads. But investigators hoped a tiny red fiber, some paper towels, and a tire could solve the mystery. Oh, ah, burns. Oh, my ear. Interstate 97 runs along the eastern side of the Cascade Mountains in the Pacific Northwest. Highway 97 is very well traveled. Truck traffic is unbelievable, but it's a major state highway. Early one June morning, a man driving along the Interstate in Oregon spotted something side of the road. When he stopped to investigate, he discovered it was a sleeping bag. He went back to check it out to see if it was any good. It was a decent sleeping bag, so he threw it in the back of his truck. But later that day, he took a closer look at it. Inside, he found a pair of women's sneakers and a purse. Both were covered in blood. First thing I thought was we had a female dead body somewhere on 97. I mean, women don't leave their purse in sleeping bags. There was no money inside the purse, but there was a driver's license. It belonged to a 20-year-old woman named Carrie Love, who lived in a small town near Seattle, about 400 miles from where the sleeping bag was found. Carrie's mother told police that her daughter left home a few days earlier to visit her father in Los Angeles. She told me that she was going 